Meet the man behind the cat. This is a conventional snow cat that we use for working on the flatter areas. For a lot of the race course work, we do use cats with, that have a winch to assist it for traction going up steep slopes. Just as skiers and snowboarders are ending their day, Mike Stone is only just beginning. Mike's been working as a cat ski operator here on Whistler Blackcomb for almost 30 years. The Whistlerite laying down countless tracks for ski racing competitions. I've worked a lot of ski races over the years, World Cups when we had them here, and the Olympics when they were here. And I still go in the fall and work at Lake Louise for the men's races. You have to be very deliberate with your preparation of the snow. If there's a fresh snowfall, a lot of times you have to clear the snow off the race surface itself, and you have to do that at a specific time. You want a, a good surface for the athletes. Last night turned out good. It worked out good, so rain and Mike both, it worked out great. Mike is part of the large Whistler Blackcomb snow team who work around the clock, making sure every run is built, groomed, and maintained to near, if not perfection, for Alpine events such as this week's Whistler Cup. The jumps are all built, right? So all we have left to do is probably free Upper Dave. When we start back in November to make the snow, you know, we have uh, snowmakers, moving guns, uh, making sure that all the snow guns are producing the type of snow that we want, which is quite wet and dense. As we get the snow made, then the groomers come in and they start pushing it around. For the speed event, the Super G, you like to have larger terrain features, so larger rolls or bumps and jumps. Slalom is basically just fairly hard, uh, the most durable snow. For this operator and his crew, the biggest challenge is Mother Nature, which is why the WB squad has close to a dozen snowcats and operators on standby at a time, ready to grab the wheel the minute the weather turns. If it stops snowing at 2 in the morning, you go to work at 2 in the morning. It's more a mindset than a skill set, I think. It's, you, have to have, you have to be dedicated to the success of the race and you know, sort of be willing to do the, the finicky work that you have to do to make it work. And it isn't just operators doing the finicky work. So we're going after 75. Meet Patrick, head of the Whistler Weasels. Don't ski the line, push the stuff as far away from the line as you can. This boss has been weaseling at Whistler Cups, World Cups, and a number of Olympics for over 15 years. Further down the mountain, he and his team is in charge of manually smoothing out any dangerous ruts, excess snow, or slippery sections that pop up on race courses. The races are running at uh, 45 second intervals, so they've got to get from one station to the next in 45 seconds. It can get stressful, <laughs> but it is what it is, it's ski racing. As hard as this entire Whistler team works to fail-proof the mountain, this is ski racing. Crashes are bound to happen. We recognize that the person that runs first and the person that runs last are not going to have an identical track. All this crew can do is try their best to provide racers with the smoothest, safest run possible. For Mike, his hours and views may blur together, but being able to play an often overlooked role in athletes' journey to the podium makes this ride an exciting one. You want them to have a good experience because they they're really are the future of ski racing. Everybody contributes. 